Gentlemen, this is Keith from Airpair Autos. Today I'm going to be doing and I'm breaking away from the norm. It's not a Mercedes video, but don't click away. Stay tuned. Keep watching it. It's my daily commuter, TDI Beetle. Yes, I drive a TDI. And I'm going to be doing the brake pad and the rotors. They need to be done. They're way overdue. So to all my Volkswagen peeps out there that's been sending me uh, emails, here is, you know, here is something for you. Hey, but before we get started, I know you've been meaning to subscribe and by doing so and sharing and thumbsing up the video, you push it up in the search engine's results for YouTube, which makes it easier to find for other Mercedes users and they can benefit from it too. So do that now. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks. I'm going to start by pulling these off. using the tool that it came with. Before I jack the car up, I'm going to just loosen the lug nuts. All right, the car's jacked up. So looking at the caliper, so we're going to remove this 13 millimeter bolt here, 13 millimeter bolt there, has a 19 millimeter square bracket there that we're going to have to hold on to. So let's get started by taking that off. Do the same for the top. Next, we're going to take a flathead screwdriver, like so, put it in here, and uh, pry out the caliper. So I'll just rest it here, like that. So then to get, to get the brake pad out, you would then slide it out. Pop that side off, and you pop the other side off the same way. So the camera is now positioned inside the wheel housing looking out towards me so you can have a better view so i'm going to be using a 12 point torx 70 to remove this bolt there are two of them one upper spray some penetrant penetrant oil i'm going to go ahead and just uh, remove it So that's the top one. There's one beneath. So looking down in between, there's the other one. So the bottom one, just about loosened it up. So I'm gonna take that out. It's a T70, okay? So now I'm gonna just slide this off. This is the housing bracket for the caliper. So next we're gonna use a six point Torx 30 to remove this retaining screw right here. Comes off pretty easily. To get this off, what you do is you hammer and then right, and it pops right off. We're just going to line up the uh, retaining screw hole to the retaining screw port. We also want to make sure that our lug nuts are properly aligned. And I'm going to attain that by screwing in. Not too tight, people. You don't want to break that off. Once that's done, we're going to put back on the brake caliper retainer, slide it into position. And I always like to tighten everything by hand first. Grab 
do the same for the bottom. So when you're pressing in a caliper on a Volkswagen, it has to be turned while pressed. So we're going to use this tool, this brake caliper tool set with the right size. Um, so under the hood, I'm going to come behind this battery and down in between here is the brake reservoir. I'm just going to spin that off, open it like that. And uh, that's just to allow it to breathe while we pump it back up. So if you look at the caliper uh, piston, it has two holes. So we're gonna take out the fitting that has two holes and it has to fit diameter. And we line it up. And we put it in place. Okay. And the piston as it presses it back in place and we want to do this slowly okay all right ladies and gentlemen so now i'm gonna put in some new brake pads they just slide right in that's that side and then the twist the the opposite side has the same notches just slide it in place like that boom then you take your caliper Slide it in place. Take your 13 millimeter bolts. What's left to do is just tighten up those two bolts. 13, the 19 backing. Down below 13 with the 19 backing. So we put on a new rotor, new brake pads, connected everything back. So the only thing left to do now is to put on the wheel and we're done. Once you're done, don't forget to cover back your brake fluid reservoir. Oh, you're gonna be sorry you didn't. So I'm gonna connect that now. Put that in there. The big hands like me takes a little bit. As always, everyone, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful. What that does, it pushes my videos up in the search results so that other Mercedes owners, drivers, do-it-yourselfers can find them easier. Thanks and peace out.